Hi, here are some features of the upcoming Glido version 1.8, Instant Renaming. In 1.8, you can improve the readability of your program with the Instant Renamer feature. Just click on a variable and press Ctrl R, and you can instantly change the name of variables and properties. The Renamer takes into account variable scope, so it won't rename anything that it shouldn't. In 1.8, we are introducing live coding an easy way to tweak any variable in real time. All you need to do is right click on a variable, go to add to live code, and tell Glider what type the variable is. By the way, numbers, booleans, strings, and colors are currently supported with more property editors coming soon. Next, launch the app under debug mode, and you can edit the variables you selected in real time. You can tweak around any property of any table, such as X, Y, rotation is visible and even call functions with live code parameters directly from the IDE like set fill color external library support in this version you can easily set aliases to files and folders so that you can manage different versions of a logical file for instance you can set an alias for main.free.lua and main.pay.lua files by right-clicking set alias main.lua. You can then enable or disable either file depending on which version you're trying to build. You will also be able to refactor commonly used code into libraries and reuse them easily among all of your projects. A library can be any folder, but typically contains reusable components like art assets or utility functions. Right-click on a project node and go to Set Configurations and click Customize. Configurations are simply s snapshots of a project settings that allow you to easily manage different versions of your app. Let's edit the default library and click Add Library. Here you will see a list of open projects, or you can browse to a folder if you like. All enabled libraries will be merged in a folder just before running, debugging, or building your app for release. Now that we have defined all the dependencies, let's create a free and paid version of our app. First, clone the configuration that we just made, and let's name one paid and one free. Next, enable or disable the proper files for each configuration. You can easily switch configurations via the build toolbar. Now you can easily switch between paid and free versions of your app without having to move around files or manually rename folders. If you accidentally forget to localize a variable, it will now appear a different color in the editor. This way you can easily catch any accidental globals while you edit your code. Thank you for watching our video. If you have purchased Glider and you would like to try out the beta, please send us an email. Bye.